Hello, welcome, namaste. My name is Babette, so good to be here. I uh, apologize for the delay in recordings. I've been having so much construction outside of my apartment. It's been impossible to find a quiet moment. So I'm gonna get you two classes this week. Next one will be uploaded early next week. And I hope you enjoy this one for the weekend to come. And of course, whenever you wish to play. Uh, for today, your practice space, your mat, some water, towel, blocks, uh, keep them handy nearby, maybe, possibly. Um, and uh, we're gonna be moving. Please start in a standing position at the back of your mat. Allow your feet to be about a little wider than inner with hips width apart. Hands can rest by your side, maybe eyes closed or soft gaze. As you allow your knees to relax, maybe you rock your way into the front, into the back of the feet, really receiving some feedback from the ground. Sometimes I like to wiggle my toes just to connect to the earth so I can bring myself, my body, my mind into the space and the present moment. Go for a deep inhale through the nose. Side out. Let's do that one more time. Deep inhale through the nose. And side out. Please relax your knees quite a bit as you inhale, reach your arms up for Urdhva Hastasana with this little wider uh, space between the feet. Exhale, soften the knees, forward fold over the legs as you allow the head to drop. Inhale, go for halfway lift, a flat back. Exhale, fold over. Please bend or at least relax your knees as you soften the spine, dome it, roll up to stand. Shoulders roll back, arms reach up overhead, inhale. And then exhale, bend the knees, go for a cow spine. Stick your seat out a bit as you dive over your legs, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold over. And we'll do that again. Inhale, roll up to stand. Find that big cat spine on your way there. Arms reach up overhead. And exhale, cascade through a cow spine over your legs as you then lengthen through the legs, head drops. Go for halfway lift. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold over. Please go for another halfway lift, flat back on the inhale, and perhaps heel toe your feet underneath you. Exhale, let's walk it forward to a plank pose. Take your time, palm fingertips, palm fingertips, palm fingertips. Please look at your hands, spread the fingers out nice and wide per usual. Want to work in the hands, the fingerprints, metatarsals, knuckle pads, so we stay out of the wrists. Driving through the heels will activate glutes and legs and try to knit the ribs in in front. It might help if you even draw your tailbone a little bit forward and up. Exhale, go for it, downward facing dog. Please take a bit of a pedal out through the feet if that feels good to you. I have a client and uh, she does not like to pedal out through her feet. And that's okay, right? You can find a relative stillness in your downward facing dog. Just try to avoid this uh, locking of an upside down V-like shape in the body. Uh, you can allow the body to gently react to your breath as you inhale. Rib cage expands to give the lung space to expand. So slightly back off a bit. And exhale, you can deepen a bit as the lungs deflate and rib cage comes in. Go for a deep inhale through the nose. Side out. I realize I never spoke about this. The reason we want to continue to breathe in and out through the nose. If you've ever been startled, the first thing that we do is we breathe in through the mouth because it activates your sympathetic nervous system. Preparing you for fight or flight, which is usually a, a reaction after we get startled. So keep it smooth through the nose keeping you as closely connected to your parasympathetic, cool, calm, and collected. On the next inhale, lift the heels, hips, roll forward to your plank pose. Exhale, lower your knees down, toes stay tucked, go for a cow spine in your tabletop. Bring your shoulders forward over the wrists, elbows bend back, go for knees, chest, and chin, Ashtangasana. Untuck the toes, slide forward on your belly, go for low cobra. Exhale, all fours, re-tuck your toes, lead to downward facing dog. 
Next inhale, let's come forward back to that plank pose, please. Exhale through Chaturanga, lower it all the way down to the ground. Untuck your toes. Uh, keep your neck nice and long, gaze down. As you turn the kneecaps down to the ground, this will internally rotate the legs and relax your glutes. Reach your hands behind you. You are more than welcome to interlace, but if you do that, please lift that fist off your glutes and sacrum. Reach so hard through the toes, the fingers, or that giant fist as you float up into locust pose, Shalambhasana. Try to go with your long muscles of the back, not so much your glutes. Exhale, carefully release, hands underneath the shoulders, draw it back to a child's pose. Knees nice and wide, big toes to touch. Drop your sit bones to your heels. As you allow your belly to soften between the thighs, deep inhale through the nose, side out. Next inhale, follow the breath to hands and knees, all fours. Exhale, go for downward facing dog. Next inhale, lift the heels, hips, roll forward to plank pose. Exhale, bend the knees, squat back, belly to thighs, look forward. Then drop the head, inhale, roll forward to plank pose. Exhale, bend the knees, squat back, look forward. Head drops, look back, inhale, ripple that forward to your plank. Exhale, bend the knees, squat back, looking forward, head drops. Inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, drive through the palms. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Go for a deep inhale through your nose. And side out. On the next inhale, draw your big toes to touch back of the mat. Roll your shoulders over the wrist. We squat back one more time. Look forward. Step or hop to the front. Go for halfway lift. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, come all the way up for Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to the heart. On the next inhale, reach your arms up overhead and please grab your left wrist with the right hand. As you step your left foot behind the right in a diagonal, come onto the ball of the left foot. Inhale, reach up over to your right for a side waist opening. On the exhale, giant step back with your left foot into a high crescent lunge. It's probably a whole lot further than you think it is. Exhale, step that left foot back to where you found it. Inhale, reach up over to your right. Exhale, giant step back, high crescent lunge. Take an inhale, radiate all directions. Exhale, step that left foot back to where you found it. Inhale, reach up over a full side waist opening. Exhale, giant step back to your high crescent. Go for a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, side out. Beautiful. And then please take the hands down to the ground. Inhale, let's turn your left heel to the ground and open that up into a warrior two, finding your feet. Imagine the soles of the feet spreading. Often I see that bottom arm kind of go uh, lost in translation, so you can keep both arms on the horizon. Inhale, flip your right palm up, go for a reverse warrior here. Stay committed to that lunge, straighten through the top arm. Exhale, go for triangle pose. Lengthen through your right leg, tip it up and over, take your time. Find your stacking first, then maybe a lower that bottom hand a little further down to the ground. Please lengthen through the neck if you decide to look up. If that doesn't feel so Gucci, please look down or onto the horizon. Go for deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, skandhasana, low lateral lunge over your left leg. Take your time, switching your foot pattern. Hands to heart, stay up tall, or maybe sink a little lower if you want. Do keep your left heel on the ground. We're trying to lengthen through your Achilles here. Without dumping in that left hip, inhale, turn up over your left leg, back of the mat. Lower your right knee down, untuck the toes. Arms sweep up, inhale for your Anjani Asana. And maybe interlace last three fingers overhead. Such a phenomenal front body opening. I go for a huge 
Inhale, maybe backing off a bit and then exhale, perhaps deepen a bit. Next exhale, hands come down, frame the foot. Inhale, go for a right dog, split, sweep it all the way back. Bend the knee, open up the hip, circle through your left ankle, go for a clockwise, a counterclockwise, smooth out your breath. Next inhale, re-lengthen back through the left leg, dog split. Exhale, keep the leg up as you come forward to a one-legged plank. Draw the left knee to your nose. Inhale, a one-legged chaturanga, leg back, elbows back, coming into your upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep inhale through your nose, side out. Take a moment, catch a breath here in your downward facing dog, or of course, take a brief child's pose or sit up on your shins. So ujjayi breath, it's a little constriction in the back of your throat as if you're sighing out but with your lips sealed. You're narrowing the aperture of your windpipe and so streamline your breath, keeping you wildly connected to your body. Unfortunately, I'm talking so you can't hear that often, but it kind of sounds like this. Please meet me back in a downward facing dog. On the inhale, let's roll forward to plank pose. Exhale, bend the knees, squat back, look forward, belly to thighs, head drops. Inhale, come forward to plank, kind of like a wave crashing onto the shore. Exhale, bend the knees, squat back, look forward, head drops. Inhale, come forward to your plank. Exhale, bend the knees, squat back, look forward. Head drops. Inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga or draw it back to down dog. Upward facing dog. Of course, cobra is an option too. Exhale, down dog. Drawing your big toes to touch this time. Inhale, roll your shoulders over the wrist. Exhale, bend your knees, squat back, look forward, step or hop. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, come all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to the heart. Please, next inhale, reach both arms up overhead, Urdhva Hastasana, grabbing your right wrist with the left hand. Inhale, step that right foot behind the left, bit of a diagonal. Reaching up, get length, exhale over to your left for side waist opening. Giant step back with your right foot, high crescent lunge. Go for an inhale, find your feet. Fiercely drive through that right heel. Exhale, step that right foot back to where you found it. Inhale, reach up over side waist opening. Exhale, giant step back, high crescent. And relax your left toes if you can. One more time, exhale, step that right foot back to where you found it. Inhale, up over for that beautiful lengthening. Exhale, giant step back to your high crescent lunge. Go for an inhale. Exhale, take a moment, hands come down. Tended fingers, you can lengthen the heart forward. Right heel drops in. Inhale, open up, warrior two, finding your feet. Next inhale, flip the front palm, go for your reverse warrior here. Exhale, take your time, triangle pose, drawing the hips to the wall behind you, tipping up over, please stack and then go for your depth. And find your breath. And maybe press a bit into that left big toe mount. I always have to remind myself as I collapse a bit into the pinky toe edge of the foot. Driving through your feet, connecting to your core. Let's move to Skandasana over your right leg. Back of the mat, well, original front of the mat. Hands to heart. You can stay up tall or start to sink a little bit if you want. Maybe sink is not the right word, as I really like you to stay engaged, though. Next inhale, turn over your right leg, runner's lunge, lower the left knee down, untuck your toes, and inhale, reach your arms up overhead for your Anjani Asana. Uh, I like Kali Mudra, which is where you interlace the last three fingers. It adds to the shoulder opener, thinking inhale up, over, maybe it lengthens through the elbows a bit. Please stay with your breath, navel in and up. 
and then exhale, hands come down, frame the foot. Inhale, go for a right dog split, leg goes all the way back. Bend the knee, open up your hip. Circle through the right ankle clockwise, counterclockwise, smooth out your breath. Next inhale, re-lengthen back through your right leg, fire in the belly. As you come forward to a one-legged plank, knit the ribs in. Exhale, right knee to nose to a one-legged chaturanga. Shoulders forward, elbows back. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep inhale through your nose. Maybe side out. And then go for a brief child's pose or sit up on your shins. So this week I got an inquiry about Chaturanga Dandasana. It's one of the hardest poses in yoga. Uh, and there's some days that I still struggle with it. Major thing for me in the practice is bringing your shoulders way further forward than you might think. It's a lot in the wrists and you're pretty 90-90 there. Also, you're high on the tippy toes, but for the majority, I see a lot of people rely way too much on their upper body. If you think about it, Chaturanga Dandasana means four-limbed staff pose, and you're lowering your entire body down in one staff-like shape. So why just rely on your upper body strength, right? Longest, strongest muscles of the body reside in the glutes and the legs. So you want to use them when you lower down. How? For me personally, it's by driving through the heels as I lower down. Let's give it a try. Let's have a look at it. Next, inhale, all fours, hands and knees. Exhale, downward facing dog. Start to really connect to your core already. Coming forward on the inhale to your plank. Then go a little bit further over the wrist. Bend the elbows back, drive through the heels to your upward facing dog. Then drive through the palms, base of the palms. Relax your glutes a bit. Exhale, downward facing dog. Find your breath. Next inhale, draw your big toes to touch, please. Roll the shoulders over the wrists. Bend the knees, squat back, look forward, step or hop. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, come all the way up, Bird Vahastasana. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, bend your knees, reach your arms up, chair pose for Utkatasana. Uh, try to face knees over second, third toes, avoiding the duck butt. So draw the tailbone a little bit forward up, posterior tilt in the hips. Exhale, fold over your thighs, then lengthen through the legs, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway look, lift, look forward, lengthen the spine. Exhale, step or hop or float. Upward facing dog on the inhale, palms, palms, palms. Exhale, downward facing dog. Next inhale, draw your big toes to touch and float your right leg off the ground, please. Exhale, step the foot forward through between your hands. Left foot, step it a bit to the left, heel lowers, find that 45 degree as you come up into your warrior one. Uh, now, Try not to force yourself to square off your hips. It's almost physically impossible as your back leg is an external rotation and your front leg is not. So don't hurt yourself, please. Drive through the outer blade of the back foot. Reach your hands behind you, interlace the fingers. Inhale, pull the fist down and back. Exhale, go for humble devotional warriors. You allow your head to drop. Check out your back foot. Uh, keep your bind. Inhale, come all the way up. It's kind of softening as well as engaging, of course, the right leg. Exhale, bow it down. Head drops. One more time. Inhale, coming up. Breath, breath, breath. Drive through the feet. And then exhale, go for your humble warrior. Take a moment. Try not to swing your seat out to the right. And then carefully release the bind, frame the foot, go for a halfway lift. Inhale, pivot on the ball of your left foot and look forward. Next inhale, turn all the way over to your left runner's lunge over your left leg back of the mat. Plant the right palm down to the ground. Inhale, all ten toes to the left for a boomerang twist. 
Uh, try not to sink in the right ankle. Use your legs, obliques. Same for the right wrist. Go for one. Maybe pulse, go for two. And then your bottom leg, your right leg, gently draw it underneath you, bend the knee and have a seat. You're either land in Gomukhasana, knee over knee. Of course, if you want to, you can step left foot over the right thigh for your seated twist setup. Maybe take a block underneath your left knee if you want. And if you want more in this uh, beautiful shape, you can go for uh, taking the feet as wide as you want. You can stay up, inhale. Or perhaps exhale, folding over your legs. Take a nice long inhale through the nose. Maybe side out. Biggest internal hip rotation I can offer you. On the inhale, walk your hands back. Please take your hands over to your right, press into the feet, turn open to the right, spinning open in this mini wide forward fold as you turn your heels in, toes out, going for Malasana Yogic Squat. Hands to heart, you can look forward. Perhaps a deep inhale through the nose. Side out. I can stay here for a couple breaths. Or perhaps you can take your Malasana here into a crow pose, facing this direction of the mat. Take your time, looking forward, try not to look down, feet float. And if you want to, you can take that into a tripod. Taking your time, let the legs float, steady breath, steady gaze. Fingers, fingers, ujjayi. And then if you're up, please straddle out your legs, kick through the heels, and then slowly come down, finding that lunar landing. Inhale, we'll find a halfway lift, flat back. Hop your feet together until there's about three feet or so between your feet, that's about a meter. <laughs> a halfway lift. Turn over your right leg as you face your right toes forward. Maybe step the left foot a bit over to the left in your pyramid pose, Parjvottanasana. Tended fingers, fist blocks, a halfway lift. Inhale, exhale, fold over. Make sure both heels are on the ground as they're going to anchor you down. Keep your upper body relaxed over your right thigh. Take your hands to your hips and then inhale, come all the way up to stand. Yogi's choice. You can go for opposite elbows behind you or maybe take reverse prayer behind the back as you slide the pinky fingers between the shoulder blades. Inhale, go for a little bit of a standing back bend. Exhale, find a flat back, coming halfway down. Draw your right hip back a bit. And then with whatever bind you're taking, take this forward into a warrior three. Left leg floats. Uh, try not to uh, hold your breath as we balance on exhales. Steady gaze. Kick through the left heel as the left leg will lift from the belly of the left hamstring. And then in control, let the hands come down, standing split, maybe tended fingers or blocks. Let your head drop, look at your left foot. And then with a straight leg, take the left foot next to the right, but keep it hovering off the ground. Inhale, send the leg all the way back, kick through the heel. Twice more, exhale, take it down, let it hover. Inhale, send it back. And then exhale, take it down, but let it hover. And then inhale, send it back. Exhale, giant step back to a runner's lunge. Inhale, go for right dog split. Bend the knee, open hip, beautiful or rock star to your left. Just to give your right hip flexors some love. You can keep it stacked or roll it open towards the ceiling. Go for one. And the next inhale, pivot back on the ball of your left foot. Right dog split. Yogi's choice, you can go for a one-legged chaturanga, regular, or skip the whole thing. And I'll meet you in downward facing dog. Deep inhale through your nose, side out. Take two breaths in down dog if you can. And then please, whenever you're ready, go for child's pose or sit up on your shins. I'm just gonna switch sides. 
And find your breath. Awesome. So you feel like you want to catch your breath a little quicker, as always, try to lengthen out your exhales. Inhales, they take care of themselves. All right. Next inhale, all fours, hands and knees. Exhale, down dog. Please draw your big toes to touch. Inhale, roll the shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, bend the knees, squat back, look forward, fully breathe out, step or hop. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, come all the way up. Urdhva Hastasana, up hands pose. Exhale, hands to the heart. Next inhale, bend your knees, reach your arms up for chair pose, Utkatasana. If you want a little bit more in your shoulders, perhaps turn the pinky fingers towards one another and try to draw the biceps by the ears. Woof, so hard. Exhale, belly to your thighs, lengthen through the legs, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Remember, if you're hopping back directly into Chaturanga, you want to bring your shoulders, chest forward so the legs can shoot back. Upward facing dog. Take a moment, it's such a beautiful heart opener. Exhale, downward facing dog. Draw the big toes to touch. Inhale, float the left leg off the ground. Exhale, step the foot through between your hands. Right foot goes a smidge to the right, heel lowers 545 degree. Inhale, come up to your warrior one. So that squaring off sensation, you can find it by drawing the right side of the body a bit forward, left hip back. And please make sure you drive that outer blade of the right foot down to keep the ankle and knee safe. Interlacing your hands behind you. Inhale, pull the fist down and back, some chest expansion. Exhale, go for a humble warrior, heart, chest, and chin lead, head drops. Find your feet, inhale with your bind, come all the way up, breath picks you up, open up a bit across your chest. Exhale, take it down, stay with your breath. And then one more time, inhale picks you up, over into the heart opener, and then exhale, go for humble. Take a moment, deep inhale, maybe a sigh. Next inhale, please the hands come down, go for a little halfway lift, pop on the ball of your right foot, look forward, lengthen through the spine. Next inhale, turn over your right leg, back of the mat, runner's lunge. Plant the left palm down to the ground, inhale all 10 toes to your right, boomerang twist. Really take a moment. We're not sinking in the ankle nor the wrist. As you, you go into this phenomenally beautiful hip opener, go for one, go for two. The bottom leg, the left leg, gently draw it underneath you, bend the knee, have a seat. Again, you can have stacked knees, go mukasana, cow face legs, or go for your seated twist set up, step that right foot over the left thigh if you wish. You can stay up. Or perhaps wherever you are, take a deep inhale and exhale, maybe fold over. Go for a deep inhale into the lower rib cage, side out. We usually think of hip openers as external rotation with our pigeons and such. We also have an outside of the hips and here we get a beautiful stretch there. Inhale, come up to sit if you're forward folding. Let's all take our hands to the left, press into your feet, turn open to your left, this time into a wide forward fold. So you can take your feet a little wider if you wish. A little halfway lift to relengthen. Exhale, fold over. Stay in your wide forward fold. Or perhaps if you want to, crown of the head touches, line up fingertips and big toes. Come up into your tripod with the V. Take your time, steady breath. Now option to take that back to tripod, of course. I mean your wide forward fold. Or bend the knees, draw the knees into your triceps. And perhaps take that into your crow, looking forward and up. Looking forward and up. Breath, breath, breath. Press into the feet. Sorry, the hands. 
go for one, go for two, and then step that out to Malasana. You can, of course, from your wide forward fold, heel toe your feet underneath you, and we're back in Malasana. Deep inhale through the nose, side out. The hands come down, sit bones up, heels out, toes forward. Take about three feet, a meter between your feet. As you turn over your left leg this time, pivot on the heel of the foot, toes face forward, step the right foot a bit over to the right pyramid. A little halfway lift. Exhale, fold over. Make sure those heels are down. As you inhale, take your hands to your hips and then come all the way up to stand. Tricky balance. Hands behind you, either opposite elbow, clasp or go for the reverse prayer behind the back. Inhale a little back bend if you want. And then exhale, go for your flat back, halfway down. Now get a little longer in the spine. On the inhale, draw that left hip back. Now take this over your left leg, warrior three, with whatever bind it is you're taking as you send yourself off to fly. Try not to let the right hip lift too much. You can drop it a bit, but lift your right shoulder up a bit. Go for one more breath, steady gaze. And then carefully let the hands come down. The leg stays up, standing split. Check out your right foot in the sky, toes kneecap down please. With a straight leg, take the right foot next to the left, let it hover. Inhale, send the leg all the way back. Exhale, take it down, let it hover. Inhale, send it all the way back. Exhale, take it down, but hover. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, giant step back to your runner's lunge. Plant the palms down, left dog split on the inhale. Bend the knee, open hip, beautiful. Or tip that over to right for rock star. You can keep it stacked or turn the left shoulder and hip back for that phenomenal front body opener. Inhale, pivot back on the ball of your right foot, left dog split. Yogi's choice, any vinyasa, one-legged possibly, maybe regular or skip the whole thing. And I'll meet you in downward facing dog. Go for a deep inhale. Side out. And take about two, three breaths if you can. Smoothing out the breath in your downward facing dog. Those two, three breaths, they add up over time. And we can start to find that same sense of ease and relaxation in down dog as we do in child's pose or a sitting up in Vadrasana. And then please go for child's pose or sit up on your shins, Vadrasana. Deep inhale through the nose. You can sigh out, sip a water towel off. I'm just gonna make sure that we're still up and running because you never know with technology these days. Yep, we're Gucci, all right. How are we doing? All right, beautiful. So um, I always some shape or form like to incorporate a variation of Surya A, Surya B in my practice. And today we're gonna to go through a, just a few rounds of Surya A with a bit of a newer variation for some hang time. I think I've had a lot of fun with these. I'm just gonna switch because I don't wanna kick my beautiful plant here. Let's uh, come to hands and knees, all fours, to your downward facing dog. Breath, breath, breath. Best teacher, best pacemaker, so to say, sets the timing for your movement. Please, if I'm ahead or behind, follow your own breath primarily, as I never want to rush you. Dry big toes to touch, back of the mat, inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, bend the knees, squat back, look forward, go for a step or hop. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, come all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, arms reach up, full breath in. Exhale, fold over, full breath out, Uttarasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttarasana. Exhale, step, hop or float. Upward facing dog, full breath in, take your time. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take that moment. 
I talked about earlier on, right? The letting your body react to your breath, giving your body an opportunity to show up for you. Uh, and that tends to go a whole lot better if we don't push back or resist. Please draw our big toes to touch. Inhale, roll forward to plank. Exhale, squat back, look forward. Step or hop. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, come all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, arms reach up, four breath in. Exhale, dive it down, forward fold, fully breathe out, commit even though it's brief. Find a halfway lift, flat back, look forward, step, hop, or float. Upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep inhale through the nose. And maybe side out. Let's briefly sit up on the shins. We've gone through multiple kinds of L hops in my videos, from two straight legs, like an actual L shape, to drawing the bottom knee into the chest, which can help with knitting of the ribs in, uh, maybe some hang time. Today we're gonna explore a scissor kick. Now what I, I wanted to sit you down for a moment is, as we get a little bit more intricate with the breathing in our practice, um, if we get good at ujjayi, we can start to manage different breath practices in our asana, the, the posture shape practice, vinyasa. Now there's this thing called the kumbhak, where you briefly hold the breath. You can do this at the top of an inhale or bottom of the exhale. I prefer bottom of the exhale, top of the inhale can make me feel a bit anxious. So we completely draw out the breath and briefly hold it then engage Uriana Banda, aka lifting your navel in and up. You can really create a lot of solidity in the core and stability as a result. So as we try the scissor kick, when you kick up, try to briefly, it's going to be a, a swift moment, but fully breathe out. Then Uriana Banda with a brief lock in the breath, you might find that you actually go for a little bit of flow time. I'm still working on this yogi play time. Uh, let's have some fun. Of course, you can omit Stay in down dog, or perhaps just walk your feet underneath your hips, big toes to touch. Look between your thumbs, float your right leg up, that might be enough. Pulsing through the left leg is enough, or on the exhale, I'm gonna kick my right leg up. And maybe scissor kick your legs. Go for your breath, exhale up. Scissor kick, go for another two or so. A little bit of a switch. Maybe one more. And then find your down dog. You can step or hop it forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold over. Halfway lift, flat back, inhale. Exhale, step, hop, or float. Upward facing dog, full breath in. Exhale, down dog. And three breaths. And then after two, three breaths. And let's briefly go for yet another brief child's pose or sit up on your shin just to make sure you don't rush or move through all of this uh, hastily, really making it about the breath. All right. Use your breath, breath, breath. Back to down dog, maybe stay there or walk your feet underneath your hips, big toes to touch. Look between your thumbs. This is the only place where I will cue you to try to draw the shoulders up to the ears as I can give you that shoulder stability. Uh, let's lift the left leg up this time, opposite leg, pulse to the right leg, or give it a try. Switching out your legs, uh, left leg, keep it straight. I find this side to be a bit more tricky. Landing nice and lightly, go for one more. 
And then step it back to down dog. Step or hop to the front. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's just take it back to down dog. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold over. Halfway lift, flat back. Step it, hop it, float it. Upward facing dog, deep inhale. Exhale, down dog. Take about two, three breaths. And then please go for your child's pose or sit up on your shins. Got one more standing wave for you. Have fun with this. Gonna be moving quite a bit. And then uh, we're already done. Sip of water, towel off. And then we'll meet back in a downward facing dog. Now find your feet, your hands, your breath. Maybe a sigh. Cool thing about sighing is it tends to have a calming effect on our nervous system as we only really sigh if we feel relaxed or safe enough to relax a bit. If you think about it, we weren't going to take a deep sigh if we were running away from a tiger or something, right? We do that after the fact. So uh, it can be nice to sigh out from time to time. Please draw your big toes to touch. Inhale, float your right leg off the ground. Exhale, go for fallen triangle to your left. Lengthen through your right leg, sweep the left arm up, full front body, yaw, find your feet, legs. Exhale, left hand lowers, inhale, go for right dog split, full breath in. Exhale, step the foot through between your hands, lower left knee down, untuck the toes, draw the hips back, go for Ardha Hanumanasana, half split. If you want to go for an inch, centimeter, as far as you want, moving in and towards your Hanumanasana. An inch at a time, millimeter at a time, uh, does miracles. Now keep your right knee and toes facing up uh, and back knee and toes facing down. Maybe reach the arms up. Go for a deep inhale wherever you are. Maybe side out. Take the hands down to the ground. If they were up, if the leg is long or longish, draw the leg back, re-bend the knee. Frame the foot, tuck your back toes. Go for right dog split. Exhale, right knee to nose, and then place right ankle to left thigh. Booty back, figure four, down dog. Flex the right foot and draw that right knee a little further away from your face. With the figure four, please take a side plank into your right hand, left heel pivots in, left arm reaches up. Exhale, bend the left knee and squat back to the back of your mat. Inhale, lengthen through your left leg and slide your right ankle down the left for cross a legged side plank. Reach down with your left hand. Take the pinky toe of your right foot in the left hand as you go for Vishmamitrasana two, maybe perhaps just fallen triangle. Inhale, send the right leg back for dog split. Exhale, step the foot forward and through between your hands. Turn to your right for skandasana over your right leg. Sorry, I meant to say turn to your left. I apologize, but it is skandasana over your right leg. And then please look at your left foot, switching sides. Take skandasana over your left leg. Finding your feet. This time look at your right leg, please. Inhale, go for a runner's lunge over your right leg. Frame the foot. As you keep your left hand on the ground, right arm reaches forward. Exhale, you can draw right elbow to left knee or thread the whole left leg through. Inhale, hop the left foot back. Right hand lowers. Inhale, right dog split. Exhale, right knee to nose. Figure four, right ankle, left thigh. And then please walk your hands back for a figure four, forward fold. You can bend, soften the left knee if you want. 
Take your time. And then please uh, stay there or perhaps walk your hands forward until the arms are straight. Looking forward, pop on the ball of the left foot. You can take your right shin onto both triceps, hook the left foot, sorry, right foot around the left tricep. You can let the left foot float, look forward. You can of course extend the back leg back as well. And then step that back, figure four, forward, fold. Deep inhale, maybe a sigh. Keep the figure four if you want it. Let's walk it forward to a figure four plank. As we did last time, maybe figure four chaturanga from your plank. Unhook, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep inhale through your nose. Side out. And then please go for a, a brief child's pose or sit up on your shins. I'm gonna switch sides. <clears throat> All right, this time, right, left, Babette, right, left. <laughs> Poor perception, right? Awareness of your body and space, work in progress. <laughs> Always a student. All right, final lap. I hope you have fun. All fours on the inhale, please. Exhale, downward facing dog. Please go for big toes to touch back of the mat. Float your left leg off the ground. Exhale, fall on triangle to your right. Lengthen through the leg. Find that beautiful front body stretch. Can feel quite yummy, I find. Exhale, right hand lowers. Inhale, left dog split. Fully breathe out as you step the left foot through between your hands. Lower right knee down, untuck the toes. Draw the hips back for your half split. Ardha Hanumanasana. You can just flex the foot super duper hard, draw the toes towards you or lengthen that left leg a little, a lot, or as far forward as you want. I always find myself a bit fidgeting on the left as it's uh, quite a different experience for me on the left. And then I realize that just means I'm pushing back, I'm resisting. Go for a deep inhale through the nose, maybe side out. Take the hands down if they're up. If the leg is long or long-ish, please draw it back. Rebend the knee, frame the foot, go for a left dog split on the inhale. Exhale, left knee to your nose. So you can figure four left ankle over the right thigh, press your booty back, figure four down dog. Flexing the left foot, stabilizing the knee, draw the left knee a little bit further away from your face. Go for figure four side plank into your left hand, right heel pivots in, right arm reaches up. Exhale, bend the right knee, squatting back. Inhale, relengthen through that right leg and slide the left ankle down, scooping the right cross like it's side plank. And now reach down with your right hand as you grab the pinky toe edge of your left foot. Maybe Vishma Mitras and a two, perhaps fall on triangle. And then send that back into a left dog split. Full breath in. Exhale, step the left foot through between your hands. Inhale, turn to your right, skandasana over your left leg. Hands to heart, perhaps. Look at your right foot, switching sides, skandasana over the right leg. Take your time. Then let's check out your left foot again. Find a low runner's lunge over your left leg. Plant your right palm down to the ground, left arm reaches forward. You can take a right knee to left elbow underneath you or thread the right leg through. Inhale, step that right foot back. Left hand lowers. Go for a left dog split. Exhale, left knee to nose. Figure four over the right thigh, booty back. Walk your hands back to your right foot. Figure four, forward fold. Maybe pulse a bit. 
might be enough. Hands on blocks, perhaps. A lot for the Achilles, the hammies. Now, if you want to bend your right knee, look forward. Booty goes way back, hands in front, so that you kind of have this landing spot for your shin. Bend the elbows back, take the left shin to the triceps, hook the left foot around the right, look forward, let the right foot float. You can extend the leg back if you want. Go for one, go for two, and then step that right foot back. Figure four, forward fold, possibly, maybe. Keep that figure four as you go for a halfway lift, walk it forward to a figure four plank. Because it's so much fun to figure four chaturanga. Unhook, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep inhale through the nose. Side out. Awesome. All right. Let's uh, take our time to take it to hands and knees, all fours. Uh, swivel your legs out to one side, have a seat. I'll come to face you. Uh, let's take the soles of your feet together, knees wide, for our supta, no, not supta, barakanasana. You can take yogi toe lock around the big toes or make a strap with the fingers around the pinky toe side edges of your feet. Just want to make sure I don't get in the way there. All right. Now I often see this. This rounding in the spine. So you can keep a long, tall spine. Maybe walk your butt bones back a bit. Just want to make sure I don't muffle myself. <laughs> Go for a little halfway lift. Exhale, come a little bit further forward. Inhale, another lift. And then exhale, maybe take a bit further forward. Taking your time to kind of wave yourself down like that. You can release, hold on to nothing. Just because some people can bring their big toes into their eye sockets doesn't mean that their stretch is any more intense than someone who is up, right? It just means they have to go a whole lot further to get the same stretch. Go for another deep inhale. Please take your time to bring yourself up to sit and then come to lie on your back. Go for a bit of a windshield wiper with the legs. And then with the feet on the ground, please press the feet into the mat, lift the hips and take them all the way over to the left. Let them come down. As you draw your left knee into your chest, lengthen out through your right leg, drawing that whole left lower leg to the right for your supine twist. Make sure your spine is smack in the middle of the mat. Maybe scoot your right shoulder blade a bit over to the right. If you want to, you can take the right hand on the left thigh to anchor it down, bending your bottom knee, your right knee, and grab the foot with the left hand. And then try to bring that foot back down to the ground. Deep inhale through the nose. Side out. And then let that bottom foot go if you have it. Rolling back onto your back. Both feet on the ground and switch it all the way over to the right long edge of your mat. Lengthen out through your left leg, draw the right knee into your chest and then take that right lower leg over to the left. And you can let that left hand anchor the right side down. And if you want to, you can bend the left knee, reach back with your right hand and maybe take that foot down to the ground. Deep inhale through the nose, side out. And please take your time to release the left leg, roll back onto your back. 
And maybe you want a happy baby or shoulder stand plow. I'm just going to check my music. Oh, there we go. And any back bend of your choice can be wonderful as well to wrap up your practice. I want to give you some options to move through. And then you can start to move in and towards your Shavasana as I decided to change my music regardless. And if you're lying on your back, Please let the feet be about as wide as the mat. Let them flop open. You can keep your eyes closed or take a soft gaze. All right. So something I spoke about in class this week we love to do things that we're good at for obvious reasons. We're good at them. They make us feel good. But a lot of us come to the mat almost every day, knowing that there can be some discomfort, even perhaps an attempt to move through things that scare us. And yet we look in the face and we say, come at me. And especially in this time, this day and age, where everything seems to be catered to making us feel so comfortable all the time, I think that might be the definition of being brave, being scared to do something and yet doing it anyway. So thank you for being brave with me. As it's a practice, we move through um, without any attachment to the outcome. And even the things that scare us can start to become a place of, a source of joy because we just enjoy the fact that we move through the fear and we come to the outer end having learned something about ourselves. I'm so grateful that you're on this journey with me. Please reach out with any questions. Please stay lying down in Shavasana for as long as you'd like. You can always come up to sit in a comfortable seated position, maybe eyes closed, soft gaze, or stay lying on your back. If you're lying on your back, maybe just take one hand to your heart. If you're sitting up, maybe both hands to the heart. As we take a deep inhale to sigh it out. And I'd love for you to join me in the magnificent sound of Om, or simply just enjoy the sound vibrations. Take a deep inhale through the nose to Om. Shivaya Gurave Satchitananda Murtaye Nishprapanchaya Shantaya Nirlambaya Tejase Om Shanti 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 I follow the light, the true teacher within and without, bringing me to reality, consciousness, and bliss. Om, peace, peace, peace. Thank you, thank you so much. So grateful. I hope you enjoyed. I'll be back in a couple of days. Uh, thank you for your support, liking, subscribing. It helps me with this channel and my content. And um, 
happy flowing. Thanks so much. Namaste.